Hello my viewer, welcome back to this channel. If you don't know me, my name is Phoebe. So today, uh, I just wanted to come and tell you some of the things that you should consider. Maybe you have a person that you have met online or physically and you are planning to come to Turkey or you want to date a Turkish person and uh, you are wondering what are some of the things that you should consider so I'm going to tell you some of the 10 things top 10 things that you should consider before actually getting serious or getting married to this person especially if you are aiming for a Turkish person my name is Phoebe I'm a Kenyan married to a Turkish man and I want to tell you some of the things that you should consider so uh, the first thing you should consider or something that I have to tell you it is the character of that person what kind of person is he what does he do what does he like like some of the stuff that he like if it is if he is a person who love fun who love kids who love to play around if he's smoking can you handle his smoking habits because most of the Turkish people or Turkish men they do smoke and uh, can you cope with that can you accept that person so this is something that you should also consider another thing that you should consider it is the language barrier in turkey or with the turkish person i have to say majority of turkish people they do understand english averagely but most of them they speak turkish because turkish is their national language so if you are planning to visit or you are planning to settle down with the turkish person uh, whichever side or whichever country or whichever city you have to understand that you will find most of the people talking Turkish and if your partner doesn't know uh, English you will have at least a challenge maybe a barrier like in terms of language so you have to consider and you have to know and another thing you should do you should know it is that you will forget about your good English it will be only in your head and with the other friends who speak fluently something else that you should actually consider do you love that person like do you really love that person do you want to settle with that person another thing you should also consider it is about their family because Turkish men they are family oriented they really love their mothers and you should know that uh, separating a Turkish man with, um, with his mother it is something hard so you have to consider and you have to know that they really adore their mothers so you have to accept another thing you should accept or another thing you should see or check how old is that person an older person uh, without discriminating anyone you will find that an older person will not accept certain things like if you are a young girl you want to have fun you want to dance you have you want to do stuff a Turkish old person will not entertain such things and I'm not saying all of them but most of them they tend to say that I'm old and uh, I just want to settle down I just don't want to do this and this because these are for young people so you should check the the age of that person if he's younger person can you cope with his uh, character of being young if he wants uh, fun you should just consider and also something you should consider or you should check will you re relocate to Turkey or will you relocate to that country that your partner is so it is something that you should consider before parking before doing anything you should think Will you be comfortable living in Turkey? Of course, Turkey is a beautiful country with beautiful people, people who are just friendly and all those stuff. But you have to consider if you want to relocate, how will it be? How will life be? Because uh, some, st some stuff you are used to use in your local country, they are not in Turkey or maybe they are, but they cannot be fixed in Turkey. So you have also to consider some stuff and uh, talk with your partner what you would like and uh, if he accept or what you have then you can travel to Turkey so relocating is not easy because remember you're gonna leave your parents you're gonna leave your family back so it is something that you should give it a thought wisely and come to Turkey because we want you to come <laughs> 
we want a lot of people coming here. I'm not, sometimes they tell me I'm advocating or I'm campaigning people to come to Turkey. Of course, we love Turkey. So another thing that you should consider is uh, you should ask that person uh, or consider if he has kids, uh, what is the situation and how will you handle his kids. And if you, ha you are a single mother also, you should consider how will you handle the kids, like how will it be, will you relocate with your kids, will your partner accept. Another thing that it is the most challenging, it is about religion. Of course, I know when people, two people love, all these obstacles can be conquered. But also, you should know that majority of Turkish people or Turkish men, they are Muslim. So, and depending on the individual person, will that person allow you to be or to worship the, uh, your God? Like, will you accept his religion? Will he accept your religion? So, it is something that you should also consider and come to a conclusion with your partner. Of course, I know if it is a gentle person, a gentle man, he will accept everything. Another thing that I have to tell you, it is about the culture of Turkey. Turkey has... A different culture compared to the Westernese or compared to other continents so you have to understand and you have to know that we you will face different food cultures you will face different uh, cultures depending on where the person that you are dating is coming from so you have to be mentally ready to eat Turkish food of course it is delicious I have to tell you but also you have to consider that there are some certain food that Turkish people won't like if you like in your country maybe like um, something the uh, food that you used to make or things that you used to do in your country they won't allow it and will you or are there or will you be like them so it is something that you have to consider when you are coming to Turkey another thing that you should consider it is about where that person lives will you be living in the village side or will he be living in the city life so you may uh, be wondering why am I saying this because Turkish people they tend to live in the city like big cities like Istanbul, Ankara, Izmir but they also have their village where they stay, they plant uh, uh, fresh food, they do all those stuff. So you have to ask your partner where exactly does he want you to live and are you comfortable living there? If it is in the city, you have to ask for read. If it is wherever that you are staying, let him be open to you and let him explain to you. So another thing it is about work. You have to ask your partner or you have to agree with your person you are person that you are dating about your career about your education about everything does he want you to work does uh, will he allow you to work or will he will he be the one providing for the family because of i'm told i'm telling you this because majority of turkish men they tend to work and uh, they prefer their wife to be at home to take care of everything to take care of the kids and blah 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 even though i'm not saying that all of Oh, Turkish men are like this. It depends on the individual and it depends on what they are doing. So, you have to consider, will you be a, a housewife? Will you do all this stuff? So, it is something that you have to check. Otherwise, I think I have mentioned a lot of stuff that I needed to tell you or I've actually told you some of the things that you should look at whenever you are getting married or when you what thinking of dating a Turkish person even not only Turkish person but other people outside there so I have to end the video and until next time I'm gonna see you again otherwise I wish you all the best in your life in whatever you are deciding to do if it is a uh, dating if it is a relationship in whichever way that you are doing I just want to wish you all the best I'm here for you if you have any questions about Turkish men of course I've not dated all of them but I live with them I've married one of them and I know I have friends all over and I can tell you one or two things that you need to know about Turkish men otherwise I think they are very good people that you can give it a try in relationship otherwise have a good day bye bye